Hi everyone, Don Genova here with another edition of Foodie Friday for Russell Books. And this week I have two cookbooks with great titles. The first one is called Death by Burrito, the cookbook Mexican street food to die for by Shea Ola. And there are some great recipes in here. I like the way it's divided into sections. And the sections include things like, that you need to know, the essentials, you know, tortillas, chiles, herbs and spices, cheese, garnishes, small bites, salsas and moles, burritos and tacos, uh, sweet things. Yes, you can have sweet things that are Mexican street food, of course, sides and even cocktails. So why not? Uh, the first recipe I made from here is a classic. It is a taco. It is a carnitas. And carnitas is made with um, kind of a pulled pork dish and uh, along with some romaine lettuce, pico de gala, which is one of the different kinds of salsas you learn how to make in here. I use these fantastic tortillas, maize nixtamal tortillas. They're made right here in Victoria, and it's, it's hands down the tastiest tortilla that you can find in the city. That was for the first one, and those carnitas are just oh, dripping with flavor. The second was a burrito, beef, short rib, and sweet potato burritos. The sweet potatoes actually you cut it into like really thin matchsticks and fry them and that becomes a crunchy bit that you put on on the beef ribs that you've simmered for a long time and then you've mixed it with some mole. Now you can make your mole but you can also buy your mole and again this is a great product from Maiz, a mole that you can get at their shop in downtown Victoria. Uh, that beef short rib and sweet potato burrito just to die for. Now the second book, Hangover Helper. I like this one. Delicious Cures from Around the World by Lauren Shockey. Uh, I like how they divide the recipes. First of all, they are from all over the world. They tell you which country the inspiration comes from. If it shows one little pill, it's easy to make. Two little aspirins, it's a little challenging. And three are difficult to make if you're hungover. I chose two recipes that are maybe a little bit challenging. And uh, the first one, boy, this one, I, I still can't get over how good it tastes and so unlikely. It's South Korea meets USA with kimchi bacon fried rice. And you're making your rice ahead of time. You're letting it cool down, put it in the fridge overnight even. And then you're frying it with things like garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, gochujang, which is a Korean chili paste. That becomes the sauce that you add to the rice along with bacon. Gotta have bacon for a hangover and uh, onion and kimchi, which is uh, fermented cabbage and other hot spicy ingredients that go in the kimchi. I was surprised at the amount of kimchi that went into this recipe but did not overwhelm the rice. It was a really good plan and you just kind of gobble that down. The second recipe from here, it's called, um, not beaver tails, you can actually make beaver tails. <laughs> That's a Canadian, uh, a Canadian, a Canadian, a Canadian hangover cure. And the second one is a good old USA, my favorite breakfast sandwich. Um, bacon, prawns, eggs, sweet Thai chili sauce, all put onto a, a nicely sliced baguette with some cilantro on top. Just chow that down, it is so good. So there's two cookbooks to help you out with some street food and hangover food, Death by Burrito, Hangover Helper, both available at Russell Books, russellbooks.com or downtown on Fort Street in Victoria. That's Foodie Friday for this week. I'm taking next week off but I'll be back the week after with more great books at great prices from Russell Books.